Hello again, everyone. So today I bring another quick tips. It's just on a script I found again, which is a really cool script. And I find it really useful for detailing things. So today we are going to show how to detail like the smaller areas of architecture, architectural things like bookshelves or tables or stuff with a script with random objects generated from a script called the Rorschach script. Now Rorschach is this guy from Watchmen and blah, blah, blah. He makes some crazy cool stuff, and he looks like some crazy cool stuff. So really what this script does is it makes random objects in using a lot of modifiers and displacements. So first you go download the script, and the link will be below. And it is right here. And let's go open it up. Nope, not that one. Uh, Rorschach, there we go. Sorry, it's on the other monitor. And so as you can see, it just creates random things it's pretty simple to learn, um, but it really helps you out in a lot of things. So we'll just go over this. So first you want to do is download this MCR file, throw it into your scripts area, then go max script, run script, find it, and the, run the Rorschach version 2.1. You won't see anything pop up yet, because what you have to do is you have to go under customize, customize user interface, and under toolbars, drop the category to days and then just drag and drop this onto any one of your open toolbars. I just dropped it there. I already have it up there as you can see. So I'm just going to delete that button. You can also create it into a different uh, toolbar itself but I'm too lazy to actually do that so I just throw them up on my rendering toolbars because they're quick and easy enough to get to. Anyways, then that hits that and then you can click it to run it. But first, after we're done that, let's get started. So we'll reset this after you have your script installed and we'll build the table. So table will just be a box and it'll be 24 inches by 60 inches by one. Really the real world units don't really matter in this one since it's just to show off the cool script. However, if you really want to have some proper lighting or anything, I will use decimal inches because I mean it's the easiest one to work with. Convert this to an edible poly ring around, connect two segments and 80% pinch or 80% 80 pinch, there we go, we'll just drag it out these will be our legs and then ring around this, connect it and there we go, those are our legs we'll select these four polygons on the outside and extrude them out by, excuse me, by 16 inches there we go, and that's our table. Next, what we're going to do is start the Rorschach script. Now, this script is kind of cool. It's really simple to understand, but I'm just going to go over it quickly. These are the modifiers that will add. These are modifiers that are in 3ds Max, and it will automatically add them. So you can randomize the modifiers to get only a few random ones. You can get all of the modifiers or none of them. Really, you don't want none of them, so it doesn't really matter. So usually I just hit randomize, because the script is all about random objects and random looks and stuff like that. Next, what you can do is randomize the amount. So you can also set it to the minimum amount. You can set it to the zero amount or reset the amount, which is about 50%. Or you can set it, to the max, set it to the maximum amount. Again, it's all about random. This whole script is about randomness, so I hit the randomize button. Now, this next one is for. So what this does is it forces these modifiers to be added. So this one, displace, it's going to be enabled it will be forced to add. This ripple will be forced to add. This twist, it's forced to be adding it. Even though the ripple and bend will also be added as well. You can also force all of them or none of them. But usually, as again, as I'm going to push, this is all about randomness. So I'm just going to hit randomize all and press go. As you can see, something random popped up. It's not the best looking thing, but you could use it. It kind of looks like a hand. You could use it as some sort of modern art piece that goes on a table. So we'll just move it down like that. Rotate it over and drop it down into the table like that. Rotate around a bit and actually won't be able to stand up like that so we'll rotate like that. You'll get something completely different so just put it into a place that you like it at. And F4, there we go. Next what you can do is hit, material, or hit, materials. hit the Rorschach script again making sure that the object is not selected. If you have the selected object it'll automatically go over, it'll automatically overwrite it so really make sure to deselect all objects before using the script again. So just randomize all, press go, and there's another kind of weird piece looking piece. 
Now they can take a while to get good, so you can delete some out and keep randomizing them until you kind of feel like you want to do something. That looks like a rock, so that one could be useful. You can also add your modifiers yourself. However, I find that kind of weird because this script is all about randomness and about making something look ridiculous, not necessarily uh, something that you would come up with. So I rarely try to set them all myself. So I'm going to just do a few more things. That one I like a lot. It looks kind of like a little spindle thing that would work well on a table. Drop it at 90, drop down to there, and drop it on the table. So we're just going to put a few things. This would look really good on a bookshelf. Put it right there. And a few more things. I'll put two more on there. Randomize all and go. This one's taking a while. Sometimes they take a while just because of what they're doing, and that is weird, so I don't really like that. Randomize twice more. Go. Nope, that is very simple. Nope. And you can see it takes a while to get something you might like. Randomize all. Oh, I kind of like that one. It's like two little peapods, <laughs> vases next to one another. Drop it down. And there we go. We got some nice little objects on there. So next what we're going to do is just add a quick material to these. Select all of them, hitting our M button, and pulling in our slate material editor. And now you can see that there's no mental right here, but I do want to use that. So under rendering, render setup, we will go to assign renderer, and we will use mental ray. There we go. And we will close that out. Next what we're going to do is Mental Ray Architecture and Design Material. Double click on it and we'll select the physical glass property. Selecting that and adding it to all of those. Next what we're going to do is add the, there we go, make another one of these and just make this a matte finish with a light gray and that will be our table. So there we go, we got some random stuff on the table and it looks kind of ridiculous. I'm going to render that out using F9. And there we go. Your once planned table now has some cool little glass things on it. It will look better with lighting and all that junk, but this was just to show off the script to populate your bookshelves and your tables with these sorts of scripts and these random objects that this Rorschach script can create. So you just hit the randomize all button, press go, and then you get something ridiculously looking cool. So I hope you enjoyed that and hope you learned something with this script. I will hopefully have a longer one next week. This week I've just been really busy. And hope to see you soon. Cheers.